Today I'm reviewing this 15 watt RGB video light, the Zhiyun Cinepure. We'll quickly unbox this. And inside we've got the instruction booklet. There is a USB charge cable here. Let's see what size that is. Uh, it's USB-C to USB-C cable. There is a quarter 20 kind of grip on here to connect to your phone with the hole here. So if you have a camera in the middle, it will allow the camera to view through there and you still have your light. And then you have a cold shoe uh, adapter as well if you would prefer to use that. Last item inside the box, we have the Cinepure light itself and it does have a soft box like silicone piece kind of sitting on the top. Um, it's not on there super well, but it is there. Uh, to turn the unit on, there's a power button on the left, and it's saying rotate to turn on. We're gonna go ahead and spin it, and we've got it turned on. The integrated screen displays key information. You have your battery level, your dim, which is your brightness setting, CCT, your color temperature, and there's also a G slash M, which is your magenta green adjustment. Uh, to change any of the settings, you simply rotate this left knob, to select the field, and then you rotate the right knob to change the value. Color temperature has a huge range. It goes all the way from 2500 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. Other modes are available by pressing the power button. That's the left one. You press it in and you get your HSI mode, which is hue, saturation, intensity. Uh, where you have the 360 uh, degree color wheel to change the color. Uh, you also have the RGB mode, which lets you set individual values for red, green, and blue. That's from 0 to 255. Plus, there's also a dim value for the brightness. Uh, the last mode you have is the effects mode. Uh, there's a total of 18 in here if you, like, if you have any need for these. There is one thing that I find really nice about this. Uh, I do have a different Zhiyun light. It is the uh, 5 ray M20, which is physically almost the identical size to this. Uh, looks almost identical. However, the Cinepure is about 40% lighter weight. Uh, this weighs just the bare light, five ounces. If you add in the silicone sleeve and, for example, the, the phone clamp, this is a total of seven ounces, which is the bare is the weight of the uh, five five ray twenty. Uh, what I also like is this light will fit into my accessories. Uh, battery life seemed really good. It's lasted just as long as I need it to. Um, what I've also enjoyed is with the soft box on here, uh, you get a very flat soft light. Uh, there's no hot spots or anything. You don't notice the individual LEDs at all. The only part that I have found that I'm not a big fan of, the phone clamp itself. Let's go ahead and quickly attach this. Um, not super sturdy. It moves like it wobbles and you can't tighten that out. Uh, so to me this piece is kind of worthless. Because uh, if you have this on your phone and you're moving your phone around, this light's going to be flopping around, uh, which is going to kind of stink. It's more plasticky, uh, definitely lighter weight. Uh, it's a lower price point than the 5 Ray, uh, but it's still kind of pricey. Uh, I feel like for the price I'm paying, this little accessory that comes with this should have been much higher quality, and it's kind of garbage. Um, because of that, I am going to mark it down a little bit, but I still feel very comfortable giving this a rating of four out of five stars.